Bonjour, je m'appelle Mr. Landshark, et I have a stick. How exciting is that? The spoils of our labours from last week. Uh, what use that stick will be, I am not entirely sure. However, we've unlocked some areas. We've got these big red rings around all these different areas. And I, for one, want to explore this prison. I know that we meant to go to the soldiers' quarters for reasons. Uh, to get that key to unlock the door. Or if there's a German in here that might or might not be alive, I want to rescue him. But also, looking at the footage from last week, I realised that when I threw that meat at the rats over the dead body and collected our very valuable stick, uh, there was a dog tag there that I completely totally didn't get. So we're going to... Hold on, we're going to collect some meat. We're going to do that as well. But I remember in the prison, when I got scared and ran away, I left a brick near a closed door. So hopefully that brick's still there. We're going to use that brick to open a door. And save the German if he is not deaded. Which I'm sure will be fine. You know. Uh, Germans well know were well known for the longevity in World War I. In fact, most people were, to be honest. So I'm fairly certain he's totally fine. He was locked in a prison, wasn't he? So how the monster could get him, I don't really know. But I'm sure we can do it together as a team. So that's our time. We've narrowly survived the monster before. Uh, get the gun out. Get the... Not the watch. I want the... Bloody hell, what's it called? The... the there we go. That's the, the flame thing. The, the light thing. Right, as so quick as we can. Don't want to mess around. I want to get to that brick. ASAP. Not be harassed or harried by the big bad monsterina. I'm going to try and avoid switching my lights on as well. Ah, he's still alive! Yes! We can save you, don't you worry, young man. Just give us a couple of moments to open these doors. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I tell you what, having a brick changes everything. I've got some notes. Now, we did have... Is that another stick? Oh, no, not a it's a pencil. Ooh. Oh shit! Um... Ah... Uh, uh, fuck! I've got a gun there! Ah! Be gone! Be... Gone! Oh! Oh, run away! Um... Hide in the corner. Took both bullets that there. Oh, did not like that. Did not like that at all. Oh, right, okay. Well, Mortal Kombat, we won. But do we have any any bullets left? Have we used it all? I've got one left. Right, okay. So what can we get from this place that we've got access to? Oh, crikey on a bike, Kate. You know what? I'm, I'm quite proud of myself for not running away then. Well done me. I'm trying to save our fellow... Well, not fellow, but... A German man. Probably called Jürgen, I imagine. Don't know if Jürgen's a German name, but... It is something. It is a name. Oh, you bastard! Bloody fire. Oh, fine. Oh, he's a chain cutters for this. Oh, this whole area is bloody useless. We, don't, we can't open this, can we? Fine, okay. Don't you worry, German man. I have a brick. There's another door over on this side. I'll, I'll, I'm sure there's a, a way I can open your door. I'll come back to you in the future. He's not going any, anywhere anytime soon, is he? Oh, sorry about that. Leaving doors open. Can I open this door? No, I can't. All right, fair enough. Come with me. Boom. And... Boom. Masterful engineering. Ooh, we've got a bottle. That's potentially useful. Uh, the sub-map has been added to the main map. In the oh, right. Oh, that's how we add maps to our big map at home. So, right. The German man has been circled. That is storage, interrogation room. Did we look in the interrogation room? 
in the warden's office. Yep, okay, can I, can I leave? Thank you. Anything else useful in this room? In the way of notes. Now, we did have a load of notes that we could have read earlier on. But I chose not to read them because starting an episode by me reading is probably not the most exciting thing ever. And viewer retention is quite important for the algorithm. <gasps> Bullets, yes. Excellent. So it looks like it takes about... Oh, what's that? I need to drop something. Uh, we don't need a bottle. At least I don't think we do. Probably don't need the flare, to be honest. I'll tell you what, I can reload you as well. It's, it seems like it takes two bullets to take out the big bad. But I did not like how the first time I fired, it misfired. That was not what I wanted. What time are we working with here? 20 minutes. Is that enough to get into the... I mean, we're eventually going to have to interact with the world without the lights being on anyway, don't we? So why don't we engage with that? See if we can survive without the light on at all times. We also have that spare room. In fact, actually, the, the meat. Let's use the meat first for the rats that we tried to uh, get by. They're still locked. That's fine. You are now open, he says. Oh, you fuck it. Fuck off. God, I hate this. Right, the mon's gonna come towards us now. Let's run through. Ah, he's there. Bugger, 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 bugger. Run, 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 run. Just hide. Leave us alone. Be gone. Never mind you, ratty rats. Well, we have found the place where we need to fill the meat, so that's kind of that's quasi useful. Oh, I hate scary things. Why do I play these games? Well, looks like we are safe. Safe as houses, some would say. Right. Let's just. Yeah, you go for that meat. Let me grab... Ah, bugger. Let me just grab this. Thank you. Whatever. Ah, bugger. Help. Rats everywhere. Oh, and you're in there. Right. Let me just plumb in. Wrap myself up. Thank you very much. Right, have you now left that? No, you haven't. Okay, what are you? You are fuel. Nice. If I just... Oh, don't come for me. Leave me alone, please. Ah, stop with the fire and the flames and the pain and the... Oh, right, fuck you all. Fuck you all with your bloody... Traps and your... Mischief. Right. Move through it slower. I can even walk it. Oh, it's on the, other, on the other side over there. Right, fair enough. Right, so while he is over there, he won't be able to... Ah, oh, that's a gas grenade. That might be useful for scaring away the big bad monster. We've got a flare. I remember seeing rats in here earlier. I think we can use rats to... Uh, the flare to actually scare away the rats. Aha, take that! You bastards. I shall have a look at you. Got nothing from that. We can get more stuff. Oh, he's over there. The flood doesn't scare him. The flood doesn't scare him. Can I just hide? See in the shadows. But can he see me in the shadows? Please go away. I just sneak out over this way. What do we think? 
Sneaky, sneaky. Still haven't got through that door. We need an explosive of some description. What time is it? Five minutes. Right, if we can just explode that door and then run. Surely there is a explosive element in here somewhere. Oh, more ammo. That's not a terrible thing. A grenade would be the creme de la creme, wouldn't it? With only five minutes left on the... I suppose, could we... It costs us a bullet, but we do have an extra bullet here. Oh, that's going to take so long. We've got three bullets, so we can at least fight the monster if we come in contact with him. Right, shoot you, run away. Uh, gun. Uh, hold R. Click an extra bullet in there. Right, so I've got three in total. Alright, bonjour! And then run and we'll come back later when we've got more time to kill. That's the plan, Mr. Landshark. That is the plan. So bloody clever. Go over here. Can I just sneak past you instead? Ooh! Yeah, I can. Easy. Close you. Lock you. And then a casual locking of you as well. Oh, amazing. Are we not doing a fantabulous job? And he, he, he could walk around all day long out there, I don't mind. Just as the engine lost all the rest of its fuel. How much fuel did we get over there? Two. Hmm, that's one less than we normally have. However, we have gained a first aid kit, uh, which is good, I imagine. Got a gas grenade. I mean, we're quite we're, we're all out of ammo. We've got two ammo, so we probably won't need to carry the gas grenade around with us, or the med kit for that matter. Uh, we'll keep those for refueling the things, but we've got some reading to do. How exciting is that? But we've also got some codes as well by Clement. There's also the other thing that we found. I don't think we got around to turning it around to have a look. I assume that we pick it up and carry it with us, but... Uh, we might need some more meat then. Hey, we're trying. What's this? This is... Oh, right. That tells you what doors... Where, where and after is that? I don't know. Though we do have the thing in the prison now. So that's something. But anyway, enough of... Right, get back. Enough of that. Let's do... Some good old-fashioned reading. Let's see what Clement has to say. 9th of July. Night. My conscience compels me now, as it failed to compel me then. I must do something, even if it costs me my own life. I must do something lest I never sleep again. I must do something or risk greeting hell itself as a relief. I must do something. I go. Sounds like he wants to do something. Crazy. All right, wrench, a wrench location note. Remember, if you need to remove grating, request a special wrench from Foreman Strafford down in maintenance. While you're there, ask him why they used to, uh, they use these damn special screws on all the grating. Very inefficient. Ooh, okay. So, has, have you put that in the... Right, is that... Because you've circled the exits. Does that mean there's a grating? Oh, it's in the warden's office, maybe. Is that what he said? Hold on. I'm not a very smart man. What did you say? In Foreman Strafford, down in maintenance. So where is maintenance? It's... Strafford. So I'm remarkably blind, I do apologise. Strafford. Where is maintenance? Oh, it's down... Th silly me. Silly bugger. 
So maybe worth going down there next, actually. But we've got the we've got the key to get into the soldiers' quarters, and that might be. Well, we'll, we'll go through that anyway. That's an explored area. It's safe. We know that. Though not much in the way of resources to collect there, so if we go down there. We might not find much fuel for our next journey, but... Eh. Such is the way of things. Any other notes? Uh, Foreman Strafford. Daisy chain switches. Uh, shut off the power in one section in the chain. The subsequent areas will go off as well. Switches should only be turned off under extraordinary circumstances, like when I say so. Pranks of mischief will be reported directly to Reynard. Oh, okay, so... If we have an area here... Um... Let's say... No point pointing at the screen, there's no point in that. But, like, near the stairs here, there was, like, a light switch that we turned on. And a further on, there was another light switch. So if we turn the one near the stairs, I'll turn the one off over here. I don't... Again, I don't know if that saves us power. I don't know if that does. I'm... Uh, maybe it does. Uh, Faber's last note. Night sleepless. Something keeps, keeps scratching at the walls. I've heard of rats before, of course, but this is different. It's not the subtle... A arif arithmetic, arithmetic scratch of the rodent is louder, steadier. Franco has gone four times now to find the source, and each time returned for no answers, perturbed. The men like me, who were here during the Roman tunnel incident, we shared the skittish looks. We dare not say anything to, for fear of reprimand, but we don't need to say it. We're all thinking the same thing. Later. Something just howled. Not something outside the barracks, something in here with us. Like before. It's like before. The tunnels are sealed. They're, se they're still sealed, but it, was it wasn't it was enough. All my brothers court-martialed and gone, and it still wasn't enough. 16th of July. A demon from the tunnels is among us. It killed Reynard. It will kill all of us, unless... For La Rue, for T T Toussaint, for Neuer, for Nicolet, for... Blah, 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 I'll kill it myself. This is why I was not caught. This is my purpose. My revolver is loaded, my will strong. So, this mod's been here for quite some time then. It's killed a fair few people. Fair play. Toussaint's journal. Um, have I read all this before? I don't think I have. Uh, Noya's been telling us of the tunnel text describing what tech, uh, these tunnels were used for. But I didn't need him to tell me. I've seen it. I was there, in the dark. I dream of it every now and then. Dreams are so real that when I wake, the day itself feels like a dream. I am at a ritual. It begins with drinking liquid, sweet and thick, like mucus or honey, repulsive and yet intoxicating. As I drink, it warms my body, fills me with lust of all the things carnal, sex, blood, flesh. Around me are others, their faces hidden, their bodies rippling. I know we all serve the same master uh, to the same end. A place of her, un her unending kingdom. Ooh. Immortality. The things I do in these dreams, a terrible whirl of horrors, bloody and whirl and whirled. They make the carnal pit of the war seem like mere play. I wake horrified. In, my, in the dreams, I am elated. The worst part, at the end of every day, I want to be asleep. I want to go back to that place. I want to feel that way. I want the violence and the ecstasy and the pitch black darkness. So it sounds like a bit like a cult thing going on. What Roman god was there for sin and debauchery? I thought they had that, um, it wasn't, it wasn't a girl, it was, um, a really wide chap who drank wine a lot. I can't remember his name, but you, you'll know, you're clever. But that dude. Anyway, Alex Neuer. Part one. Finally got some answers from the engineering team. Oh, actually, are they not just adding the time on the, on the list? I can't remember. Oh, well, we all finally got some answers from the engineering team. Commander believes that the old... Oh, no, yeah, they do add up the things on. Okay, so... This morning, Ar Arkhamon died of his wounds. I only know him... I've only known him at the time, but considered him one of the better friends here. I hope heaven welcomes him. To myself, I have been going over the texts and have had quite the shock. These texts are not Roman in origin. Ooh. Language is Latin, or Latinate, at least. But what they're writing about has no relation to what I know of Roman culture from any era. The texts seem to be of a religious or at least superstitious nature. A phrase is repeated to cross into the darkness beyond, and then something about sight. Haven't slept, need to get this down. The texts are of a religious nature. Whoever these ancient people were, 
They believe that they have found the means to immortality. And to achieve this goal, they need access to what they thought was some other world. One dominated by darkness and ruled by... I don't know. They use words I can't translate. Ruled by something. They claim that the dark other world was full of spirits, monsters, and that the air there was endlessly alive with cries of torment and the sickly rattle of the souls near death. This is what they were using the tunnels for, and for them it was a doorway into some pagan hell. The text of wild stories of blood orgies and sadistic spirits of the awful things these men and women would get up to, uh, to uh, would do to each other to in worship of darkness. They speak at length of some substance that is meant to grant the worthy some kind of immortality in darkness. I'm on patrol tonight. I need to sleep before them, but then I'm back to this. Okay, so we've essentially found that the big bad is probably someone's achieved some form of immortality. So good on him, but bad on us. Less than ideal. What kind of health? Oh, we're only a little bit bloody. It's fine. Plenty of health. So, right. So our plan is I've got a code to open a door for the... Um, what's it called? The room. The, what's it called? The the mission storage. So, I've got a code for that. We've got the door open in the soldiers' quarters. So, we'll run in there as well. We'll see what's inside. Hopefully get some useful gubbins. And then get the wrench, man. Get the wrench. That's what we really want. I'm thinking of going to mission storage at the end, because it's nearest to us. Should we run out of time, I would rather... Um, uh, grab stuff that we can carry back to base further afield. Just because that way, if we do have a lack of stuff, we can always run out into the darkness to mission storage and maybe grab some extra bits and bobs. That's the idea. That's the dream. I'm not going to unlock this door, actually, because the chance of us coming through that door is nigh on unexistent. Just sprint through, don't mind us. We are on a mission. We've got one door to open. That's all we want. It's already been opened for us, although I do not like how by using a grenade we've killed all the lights. Right, key, hello. Ah, you bastard! Is there no key in here? I'm going to have to read the note. I'll have to read it really quickly. Right, okay. Fine. Notes. Uh, Sergeant Quint, I have communications. My friend, after tunnel sabotage, there's increasing security everywhere. I've been commanded to lock the door to communications. Between you and me, I'm going to keep a copy of the key in my bunk in the barracks. You never know when such a thing might come in handy. In your bunk in the barracks, you bastard. So, Sergeant... What was your name? Sergeant Quint. Please say that the... Right. Goff. LaRue. Picard. Nikolai. Otier. Neuer. Oh, I've got your notes, Neuer. No, you leave us alone. I know you're in there. Leave us alone. Thank you very much. So, Quinton, Boyfer, yeah, I get you. You're in there. Shut up. Right, both are blank over there, so we can ignore them. But what was your name again? Quint. Clemon, Trembley, Lambert, you're dead. To be fair, they're all probably dead, aren't they? Bless them. Quint, Quint, Quint. Oh, please, come on, Quint. Show yourself. Unless I... They can't be banned, these blanketed ones, can they? Oh, you... Stop it. It must be knocking around these parts. These are the barracks, is... Oh, this is massively inefficient use of time. 
Oh, Quint, you're there, you rascal. Okay, all right. Well, where are you, then? You stop that. I right, just hold on. Oh, you are there. Right. I am so sorry. From the perspective of the viewer, I can imagine it's very frustrating to watch someone just flounder around like that. Right. I've got a key. Stick it in there. Bonjour. And then... At least I've got some sort of light source over here. It's very dark in here. I don't like it. Thank you. Why is it not coming on? Well, you just stay there. That's fuel. I grab everything you can in here. In fact, a flare will do. Right. Keep that going. For now. We'll just grab shit and run. Got a cup there, maybe. What else is in here? More nerds. Ah, there's a lock that I need to use a gun for to open. Piss off. You noisy bugger. More fuel. Thank you. What are you? You're all stuff. Looks like communication stuff that stopped working. Ugh, oh, fine. Uh, and then, what are you? You are nothing useful. I got an achievement, but I, for one, don't care. Alright, let's go home. Let's go home. Oh, not that way. Got enough time to go into mission base, don't we? Or mission, thinking about it. Five minutes, plenty of time. I'm sure the information we got there was quite useful. I double checked, triple checked, some would say. Right, come on. Where is your. Where's oh, our? Sorry, right. We need the codes. 4513. Uh, 4513. Bonjour. Collecting stuff. We've got a can. Oh, go, can go. Is that it? Okay, well done, team. Let's sprint her. Ooh! Love your grunting. Do not appreciate it. Thank you very much. Ah. Well, look at that. We've got two fuel pieces, and we've got loads of nerds. Nice. So that means I think, Soldier Quarters, you are... Dunion rings, as the kids would say. Look at us being really efficient. All right, come on, it's got more things to say. 8th of July, mid afternoon. Joubert needs a scout for tonight. Routine patrol. Out to the communication wires and back. It'll be cloudy. Good cover. Easiest patrol possible. Sergeant wants me or Augustin to go. He still suspects one of us might have been with the mutineers. But I won't be going. How can I be so sure? Well, Augustin has agreed to a friendly game of chance to determine which of us it will be. And using an old sleight of hand trick, there's no way I'll lose. <laughs> no, Augustin doesn't have a chance because I'll ensure he doesn't. Me? A scoundrel? <laughs> Perhaps. But when he returns and I remind him of the time he pissed in my flask, or the mysterious lice that appeared in my bunk, or the incident with that barmaid, well, I laughed in those cases, and he'll laugh in this one. What a rascal is Clement is. Oh, shit. Near midnight. Shelling again somewhere along the line. Them firing at us. I'm sure we will fire at them again soon. I hope Augustan's having a simply marvellous time out there. <laughs> Can't wait to tell him what I did. 
9th of July, time unknown. It must be just before dawn. When the shelling stopped, I woke. The sudden silence always does that. Augustin's bunk is empty. I went looking for him. He wasn't in the mess, nor being seen by Dr. Jozinski, nor lurking out for a final smoke. Dax was on patrol. I asked him. He said Augustin hasn't returned from the scout. He said the words like he was pronouncing Augustin's death. As if scouts don't come running back at all hours. As if, as if it wasn't just a routine patrol. As if all hope was lost. Now the shelling is starting again. Oh, we'll try to sleep. 9th of July, morning. It has been hours now and Augustin has not returned. His luck did not hold. And neither has mine. What could I have been thinking? If he is gone forever... But I do not want to write it for fear writing it will make it real. I will continue to wait in my bunk until dusk. And if there is no sign of him, then... Then... Then I do not know. The priest keeps staring at me, as if he can sense I have some unseen weight on me. I will not give him the satisfaction of a confession. It was nothing. A joke. I, I thought it was just a joke. I, I never thought. I, I never thought. And therein lies my sin. Jeez, now nah, that's quite heavy, that. No, it's, uh... Starts off as a laugh. Ends up in losing a friend. Or potentially losing a friend, anyway. That's a heavy weight, man. World War I sucked. Sucked for everyone. Christ. Uh, let's look at Alex Neuer. I've spoken to one of what's written... Oh, oh sorry. Bleh. I've spoken to no one of what's written in those texts. I swear it. But LaRue comes out of the tunnels claiming that it's... that To have seen things described in them. My rational mind cannot accept that it might be a coincidence. Nor can it... Nor can it accept the alternative. I've tell others what's written in those texts. Tell them. Warn them. They've punished LaRue for speaking out about what he saw and now Reynard has sent for me. I'm sure I am to be punished as well. We're stuck between the Germans in front of us, High Command behind us, and some other horrible force seems to lurk in the shadows all around us. I fear we are now truly beyond God's reach. I've been locked in at Delepi's De cells for the past two nights. Reynard's punishment for me speaking about the texts. Nightmare after nightmare there, dreams of darkness, seductive voices. Uh, oh, sorry, seductive darkness, voices there welcoming me. I returned to my bunker and was met with the men, all of whom now have tales to tell. Nicolay, Faber, blah blah blah, those people, and on and on. They are all hearing things, dreaming things. Nights now spent in the grip of fear that crawls up the spine and digs its claws behind the eyes, piercing mind and soul. But after what happened to LaRue and me, none dare speak to the officers, not even to Joubert. And worse, raids are beginning again. I'm going to, I, I'm, I am to go tomorrow night. Back from the raid, can't sleep. Shells falling, the soles of my boots are worn thin, my feet bloody and blistered. Lost too many out there, I feel trapped. Last night the entire barracks was awakened by the sound from the tunnel. Nightly, they grow louder. When I slept, I dreamt of, of the other worlds, of pain wrapped in ecstasy. This morning we are all seen, we are all as ghosts. Things cannot continue this way. I will enter the tunnels and see if I could find my way to end this for all our sakes. Alright, so, an escalation. Faber dies, uh, from Tremblay. Faber is gone. Insanity. Chaos. We were in the mess, and it burst from the shadows right behind Balsrond. But Faber was there, ready, practically threw himself in front of the thing. He shot it, hit it dead on. The thing retreated. We thought it was, uh, for sure it was dead. But then, not ten minutes later, it came back for him. I heard him screaming, being pulled into the wall, praying for salvation. And now I can hear it moving again, getting closer. Have to move now, or we'll all suffer his fate. Now, hear me out. This sounds a lot like nine times out of ten when I've been in a working situation. And you've probably been in a situation too. Where there is a very clear problem. That's obvious to everyone. And you go up and you tell upper management or your manager or whoever's in control. Hey, here's the problem. Can we solve it? And they say, nah, it's not a problem. 
Don't bother with it. You'll, you'll be alright. That's the kind of vibes I'm getting here, man. That's the vibes I'm getting here. Go to Farber. Sergeant Farber. Um, I was there when they pulled your friend Noya from the tunnels. He's been screaming for hours before he was located. Tied to the stretcher. He was still trying to scream, but all that came out was a horrible rasp. All of the engineers have seen things down there, myself included. We should talk, you and I. About what is to be done. Let me know when. Alright, so maybe this Ozan fella has inspired this chap to sacrifice himself, which is not great. What else do we need to do in the soldiers' quarters? Was there a get the hell out of here wrench location? Yeah, uh, dynamite locket in the arsenal. That was not where we were meant to be. The arsenal's down here. So why is there a red circle around there? Uh, final report. Uh, grab the com get to the communications room in the soldier's quarter. Hide there. I'll broadcast the code to you. Right. Ugh. So I need to actually go back there to get the code broadcasted to me. Which, to be fair, we had to shoot things and stuff, didn't we, sir? So wasn't too keen on staying in there. We can go back there later. I've got fuel. I want to find that wrench. Now, to get to the maintenance room, we're going to go down the green hall. Uh, turn left. Go down. Right. Okay. I can figure that out. I know how to do things. How many bullets do we have left? We have got... One. Oh, but we've got... Oh, we found two more in our cupboard, didn't we? Aha! Easy peasy. We're going to absolutely annihilate the big bad next time we see him. Now, you're still working for whatever reason. I'm fairly certain. It must be that the nerds slow down time, surely. You know what? I'm going to run on that assumption from now on. That we can read nerds without time going down. That waiter will at least save us from the massive in-between run slog of reading shit. Uh, I need my watch out. I need my torch out. Onwards and upwards, mon cher. Let us find the wrench. Because the wrench will also allow us to get into a whole bunch of places that we've not had access to before. So we're going to go down here. Make a right... Oh. Are you open? Why are you not open? Why aren't you open? What's the issue with this? I'm going the right way, aren't I? Or is there another way to get down there? Alright, you could you stop it. Grow up. Oh, we go down here. That's how we get there. I think. Right, hold on. Let me... Ah, right. There we go. So it's down this way, and then... Left. Oh, you... Where are you coming from? Oh. Fuck. Right, we'll go around this way then. Sod yet. I can see here. Oh, this is going to be a massive resource drain on our blooming energy. Go away. I'm hoping it's gone now. Doesn't stay out for long, this kid. Not when lights are on. Right, so it's down this way. And then you go... Oh. Right, you just... Can we walk past here? Yes, we can. Here's where we need those chain cutters for, but we don't have access to that. Can I not just... Ugh. I need a flare of some description. And he's in the blooming. Right, okay, fair enough. We won't go past you then. We shall. 
Ah, you bastard. Oh, got flare, though. Flare? Used flare. Right. You know what, fine. We'll go to the communications room and we'll hide there. That's what the mission says, to hide there. So, I don't know where we've got to wait till the lights go off. Don't feel comfortable with that at all. But we shall be there. Gosh darn it. That communications room, that's definitely where we need to be. For this broadcast. Bonjour. Do I need to... Come on, don't tease me here. What do I need to do? Got a cup? That's something. I need to turn you on, don't I? Why aren't you working there? Can you go down there? Right, so I clearly just need to follow these things and turn them on then, yeah? Right, shut up. Oh, you're in there, right. Oh, you're all fine. Definitely been in that room before. I'm fairly certain. It's where the music is. We've turned you on, haven't we? Fairly certain we've turned you on. Ooh, cloth. Hello, cloth. Right, follow the cabling. Oh, Christ. We're going to have to shoot you, aren't we? Oh, you bugger! No! Oh. oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Go away! Yeah, be gone, you bastard. Well, as you came at the ideal time then, didn't you? You fucker. Oh. Crikey on a bikey. I've got a brick, that's something. Oh, you're still out there. Right, grab a nut. Anything in the cupboard? Fuel. Bandage, we might need a bandage actually. For all intents and purposes. Thank you very much. What's inside you? Hello? Bonjour? Nothing? Okay, let's go back to that place. But where the fuck are we? I've been all turned around now. What Sophia does to a man. Got no bullets left neither. Very limited amount of time. Can we do it? I believe we can. But at least scared the monster away for a good ten minutes, maybe. After un unveiling a whole plumbing. Right. That's how you work. One job. Anyone left? The code is seven, four, zero, six. Seven, four, zero, six. Right. I hope that you can forgive me. The arsenal code is Oh, yep. Yeah. No, that's fine. Well done, us. So we have time to actually. Oh, is it in the arsenal or is it the cupboards in the thingy? What what's it what's it called? Arsenal code. Yeah, it won't be in there, will it? There's no trooper in there called Arsenal Code. All right, sweet cheers, man. Big Keith, or whatever you're called, I'm gonna call you Keith. Oh no, I haven't locked up. Ooh, I've not unlocked that. Come around this way. Oh, close! Crikey. Look at that! Soldier's Quarters finished. Amazing. We are massively on time and all that stuff. Oh, nice. So, Arsenal, 
something in there that's a that's for a curd. That's good. Um we could put you to Oh cloth and stick. What does that make? That makes a torch. Ooh. When other methods are unavailable, a simple torch can let the darkness be swung to scare off small scavengers and predators. Okay. So we have access to the maintenance place by using a fiery stick to scare away the the Mises. Which is quite nice. Right, let's read the notes, and I think that will be us for today. Are there any notes? Uh, no. That's... Oh, that, that, that's that one notes. The officers, the officers have abandoned us. They ran from the beast and blew the exit closed behind them. Even Joubert. They called us cowards and traitors and worse. Hypocrites. Now they've doomed us. Whatever hell we suffer now is on them. God will punish them for what they have done. Too damn right, Sergeant Mar Mar Marcu. Whatever your name is. So yeah, cool. Big, big place to make. We've also got one fuel. So actually, next time it's going to get a little bit spooky dooky. As it's going to take more than one drum of fuel to explore this sufficiently. But we'll have a torch. So that's something. Might be able to find a flare to keep us safe. Who knows? But yeah, cool. If you uh, like the channel, have a look at the old Patreon. One pound a month gets you one extra game of Dawn of War a week. And also, there is a Discord where Discord things happen. I'm Mr. Landshark. Pleasure as always, never chop. I'll see you in a bit. Peace.